Let him go for a while. So yeah. You're gonna die one day. You might just end up in hell. You better repent and believe the gospel. You better believe in Jesus and what He said. When He said, "Be ye holy," that's what it means to believe in Jesus. To believe what He said. To obey His commands and to love Him. Amen. You're not loving Him today. Don't amen me. You need to fall on your face and repent. I'm not here to sell you milk toast and tell you to sow a seed. I'm here to tell you to repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. You're playing around, thinking this life is about having fun and getting drunk and going to concerts. This life is about building the kingdom of God. This life is about being reconciled unto God. You've only got one life. Whiskey will help you right into hell, sinner. Big and we finally made it to the weekend. Ah, uh, prepared for this concert. Have you prepared to meet your God? Have you prepared to meet God? Yes, sir. Then what are you doing right here? You're prepared to make sure you sin as much as you can before hell comes? Yeah, there's no sin in hell, don't worry. You don't have to worry about it. There's just burning and flame and weeping and gnashing of teeth. God's going to look down at this obstinate, hard-faced, hard-foreheaded, stiff-necked people who have heard the gospel and had Bibles, even all over the place. You got Bibles in your hotel room. You got Bibles on your iPhone. You got preachers in the church, preachers on the TV, preachers on the... You got preachers at Zach Brown concerts. And still, you stiffen your neck to the gospel. Has your heart waxed cold? Has your heart waxed cold? Your heart's waxed as cold as that beer. Thank you. <laughs> to a stiff-necked people, God will be long-suffering. How many years has He put breath yeah. in your lungs? Yeah. But one day, that stiff neck of yours is going to find itself bound hand and foot and cast into the lake of fire where the worm doesn't die, where the flames never cease, where the smoke of your torment rises up day and night. Where you will be turned into hell, the Bible says. It's time to get right with God. It's time to stop fooling around and playing games. God's not in the game playing business. God's not in the have a good time at the concert business. He's in the make dead men alive business. He's in the life and life more abundant business. You want to just walk around, live your life like there's no consequences? Jesus Christ will judge the quick and the dead. And when He comes back, He might come back today. And He finds you hanging out at a Zach Brown concert with a bunch of drunks, singing songs about throwing money at little girls. The muchachos, they call it Big Papa. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Shame on you. Are you not ashamed Hell that you're no. double fisted beer in the hell? Your brain washed. Yes, my brain is washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm here to brainwash you people. You need to be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. Because your stains right now. I've been baptized. I know you need to get rebaptized. You didn't yeah. hold you under long enough. Yeah, they didn't hold you under. Didn't stick. Yeah, they didn't hold you under long enough. You need to get baptized in the Holy Ghost. Just made get you a wet sin. Holy Ghost. Just a wet sin. You guys know more about holes in your jeans than you know about Holy Ghost. The Bible says, "Be ye holy." God is not in that ground. God's not here to play games. The Christian walk is not about playing games and having fun. The Christian walk is about serving the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your strength. You're not sober-minded tonight if you're filling it with the garbage in there. You better get right with Jesus Christ. The Bible says it's appointed once for man to die and then comes the judgment. And that judgment won't be just, oh, well, you tried really hard to be a good person and you had good intentions. No, he'll bring up every word, thought, and What are you thing. talking about? Uh, it's called the Bible, ma'am. I'm, I'm sure sorry, why are you hollering at me? So they will hear. Why are you so they will hear. You know, I'm just this asking is, this is what he's yelling example. about. 
She used a bad word. We call that a potty mouth. She's got potty fingers. <laughs> potty mouth. You know what? You have a potty mouth. Body you fingers. Know, it's abundance of your heart. Your mouth stinks. <laughs> Hearts full of lust and booze and beer. The Bible says, "Be ye sober." When, when, when the Bible says, "Be holy," He's not talking about your pants. You need to uh, clothe yourself in modesty, ma'am. Be ashamed. You ought to be ashamed of the way you're dressing, ma'am. You're too young for this. You're too young to be selling your body like that for free. Too young, ma'am. This country's going to hell because there's no one afraid to stand up for righteousness. Ezekiel had better luck prophesying the word of the Lord to dry bones. At least they got up and started moving. I understand why God called us sheep. I understand why God called you sheep. Every one of you has gone astray. You've each gone your own way. You're all falling short of God's glory right now. Right now, you're falling short. You're coming short. You're missing the mark. You're stumbling to the slaughter. We love Zach Brown. I know you better love Jesus. That's your problem. Zach Brown loves Jesus. No, he doesn't. No, he's as much of a fan of Jesus as I am of Zach Brown. Zach Brown's singing about how he throws pesos to girls. Hey, God bless you. Yeah, but we sold him as a perfect. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Thinking you're funny and cute. God does not think it's funny or cute to throw money at women for favors, but Zach Brown likes to sing about it. You got a potty mouth. There might be ladies out here. One way to heaven. One way to the Father. You know what, folks? If you don't get sanctified, you're going to be the one who's chicken fried. It's turn or burn. Get right or get left. I'm making it simple for us get that people. Simple line. Turn to God or burn in hell. Yeah. God loves Zach Brown too, just like he loves the rest of us. No, God is angry with the wicked every day. Every day. Every day, the wicked leading the wicked. It's it's the blind leading the blind today. It's the blind leading the blind. You want to blame the liberals and the Democrats for why this country's going to hell? You want to say, oh, it's because of Roe versus Wade this country's going to hell? You want to say, oh, it's because of the illegal immigrants? No, it's the conservatives claiming to be Christians and living like the devil. That's why this country's going to hell. You want to vote Republican, but you don't want to walk on Jesus! <clears throat> Time to get right with God. Time to get right with God. Many of you South Carolina, North Carolina charlatans would say, oh, Obama wrecked this nation. Thank goodness we got Trump in office. I'm here to tell you, it's not the liberals you need to worry about. It's the false flag fake Christians that are sending this country to hell. Stop claiming the name of Jesus if you're not willing to live the name of Jesus. Stop saying you walk with Jesus if you're not ready to get crucified. Stop saying it. I'm sick of hearing how many Christians are here tonight. It's wicked. I got a mouthful for you, buddy. I'm sure you do. The Bible says, be ye separate. Be ye separate. A friend of the world is an enemy of God. We're out here today. See, I'm out here. Uh, I want to. I want to announce something here. Uh, I think that not only not only is Zach Brown and uh, all of country music the most disingenuous of all musical genres. You people aren't real country people. You people aren't even real country people. Right here, turn it, turn it around, Austin. Get a shot of your face. Get a shot of your face. That's a real country boy. See, see, you folks, you folks are country posers. See, you folks are country posers. You think by coming out, you think by coming out and uh, putting on little short, short jean shorts and your cowboy boots makes you country. Here is a guy. This is a guy who's country. Now, what does a real country boy? What does a born again Christian real country boy or girl do with their time and money?
Uh, you are posers for country. You're not real country people, so you're wasting your time and money on frivolous worldly entertainment. Right here behind the camera, right here in the black shirt, that's a real country boy. He left his trailer in so Mississippi. You to be out he, left, to he left his trailer in Mississippi, sold it all, put everything he has in his car and he's going to be a missionary to Thailand. That's what a real country boy, thank you, Austin. That's what a real country boy does with his time and money. He sold his trailer in Mississippi, and he's going to Thailand to be a uh, missionary to the Buddhists in Thailand. But you folks, you're posers in the country music scene. You're just going to go back home to your nice uh, nice houses in Valentine. No, no. It's a BYOB party. Bring your own bullhorn. No, it's a BYOB party. See, but that's what a real country boy does with his time and money. Not wasted on frivolous entertainment. A real country boy sells his trailer in Mississippi and uh, puts, it, puts it all out there. You know, this is, you know, Jesus, uh, this, is, this guy uh, responded properly to the call of Christ, unlike the rich man. See, this guy is not even a rich guy. This guy is far from being a rich guy, but he responded properly to what Jesus said. Jesus once told a rich man, a rich man walked up to Jesus face to face. He got to see Jesus face to face. You know how few people of all the billions and billions of people who have ever lived on the earth in all of history, how few actually got to see Jesus or better yet talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. But in the Bible, it talks about a rich man who got the, the incredible pleasure, the incredible rare pleasure of speaking to Jesus face to face. And he said, how can I be saved? And uh, in the end, Jesus said, sell everything you have, come follow me, and I'll give you riches and treasures in heaven. The rich man was looking at Jesus face to face, and he said no, and shook his head and went away sad. But a real country boy, a real country boy responds to the call of Christ properly, properly. Says, that's what I said. I mean, I still have a house and I still have cars, but I have laid, I've laid my hands on my house and cars and I said, Jesus, this is all yours. Anything, Jesus, anything you want to do with this house, anything you want to do with this car, this these cars, it is all for your glory. I have dedicated, if Jesus wants me to sell my house, sell my cars, or use them for ministry, that's what I do. What are you doing? No, you don't. Obviously. You're a fool. The Bible says that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Yes. The Bible says that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. If you don't fear God, you haven't begun to be wise. Jesus Christ himself said, do not fear him who can kill your body and do no more. Fear him who can kill your body and afterwards cast your soul into hell. Yes, Jesus said, fear him. So that's what we come out here to do. Come out here to uh, teach you uh, teach you a little bit of Bible. A little bit of Bible. You guys read your Bible this morning? You spend, how much time do you spend in your Bible? Zero? You guys will spend three, four hours out at a concert uh, getting drunk. You guys plan on getting drunk tonight? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. What does it depend on if somebody buys it for you or not? Or yeah, it's pretty Are you a cheap drunk? Okay. It's no, see, you guys will spend three or four hours out here, but you won't spend any time at all. You won't spend any time at all reading your Bible. I mean, for Christ. You, if you read your Bible this morning, then why are you out here at a Zach Brown concert? See, Zach Brown band concert, sorry. See, this is, you know, like we talked about before, he sings, it's just all the same country music nonsense. I gotta sing, I gotta sing my song. And see, you guys know more Zach Brown lyrics than you know Bible verses, so I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a Zach Brown bandized version of what God's gonna say to you on Judgment Day. God, on Judgment Day, God's gonna say, Adios en vaya con Dios. Yeah, you're headed for hell. All of you fornicators and you masturbators. That's fire and brimstone you smell. Adios en vaya con Dios. Judgment's headed your way. If you're a drunk or a liar, it's the lake of fire. You better get saved today. Right? Right? See, I know you don't know that you know more Zach Brown than you know Bible, so I have to dumb it down for you. 
Oh, we're scaring people, and I'm sure you going in to celebrate a guy who sings about throwing all the muchachas, they call me Big Papa, when I throw pesos that way, yeah, let's talk about that. She's glorifying God by going in and celebrating a guy who talks about, hey, let's throw money at the girls so they'll give me sexual favors. I've seen guys bring their little daughters in. Guys bring little dirt girls in. Guys bring little daughters in to a concert where a guy's going to sing about throwing money at the Mexican girls to get sexual favors. And then they're going to wonder why little Sally comes home pregnant at 14. And they're going to wonder why their son gets arrested for prostitution. He was just throwing money at the muchachas who call him Big Papa. And then their 18-year-old kid gets arrested for prostitution because he just did what Zach Brown told him to do. Just did what Zach Brown promoted in, in his song. Like my brother over here, the real country boy. This is a real country boy right here. See, now I'm like the posers who just put on cowboy boots and Daisy Duke shorts and think that they're country. This boy over here, he sold his trailer in Mississippi and he's going to be a missionary to Thailand. That's what a real country boy does with his time and money. That's what a real country boy does with his time and money. And you're going to be responsible. You're going to be responsible and accountable for what you do with your time and your money. You spend all this money on a bunch of frivolous entertainment, and then we can't we can't even tell you how many people said, I'm a Christian, no, I'm a Christian, no, I'm a Christian, going into this nonsense. Going into this nonsense. Shame on you. Shame on you for thinking that you can glorify God while you're uh, glorifying the world. The Bible says that friendship with the world is enmity towards God. If you're a friend of the world, by biblical definition, you're an enemy of God.